cord is around the baby's neck and variable decelerations. When the umbilical cord is around the baby's neck, there can be problems associated with this condition in some instances. To get an understanding of this condition, doctors and nurses rely on the electronic fetal heart monitor to get an assessment of the baby's well-being. Because the umbilical cord is responsible for blood and oxygen to the baby, a wrapped umbilical cord can create an emergency in some instances. One of the factors which comes into play when the umbilical cord is around the baby's neck is how tight the cord is wrapped. The tighter the cord is wrapped, the more problems and issues the baby might face. Nuchal cord, what is this? The medical condition for when the umbilical cord is around the baby's neck is called nuchal cord. From a growing standpoint, the umbilical cord grows out of the placenta and the placenta is said to be a temporary housing for the baby. One of the main causes of nuchal cord is the baby's random movements during pregnancy. According to some literature, nuchal cord can be common during pregnancy. 12% of pregnancies at 24 to 26 weeks will have a nuchal cord. And at full term, 37% of pregnancies will have a nuchal cord condition. So why can nuchal cord be dangerous? One of the things to look out for when nuchal cord is present is whether there is umbilical cord compression. Cord compression is one of the ways a baby can be impacted by HIE or hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. This is because when cord compression occurs, it can reduce the level of blood and oxygen that the baby needs for fetal well-being. During labor and delivery, the electronic fetal heart monitor provides certain types of readings to doctors and nurses. One type of reading is called a variable deceleration pattern. A cause of variable deceleration patterns can be a nuchal cord. As a result, when continual variable D cells are present, doctors and nurses must take into consideration that a possible nuchal cord is present and that mom and baby may need interventions. This is Marcus from HIE Resource Place. We will talk with you next time.